first thing I'd like to start off with is by talking about our breeding program. Uh, over the years, we have a, had a number of firsts within our breeding program. The pioneer breeders were able to give us commercial product in 2009 for Club Root. We were the first uh, breeding program to offer that into the market. 2008, we were the first product to bring a first, sorry, seed brand to bring a product to market for Sclerotinia. And then you follow that up uh, not many years later with a Harvest Max product. And, uh, and now as well in 2020, we're the first brand to bring a Clearfield Club Root to trade a material to the marketplace, which we'll talk about later. None of that actually really happens without a lot of dedication and focus and some very clear objectives from the breeding team. And some of those objectives, as you can imagine, would be uh, a dedication to enhancing yield, of course, but also bringing together uh, better disease packages, as well as um, enhanced uh, harvest max pod shadow re reduction technology. And, uh, you know, we do that through lots of different trials. We do that through our impact program, which is a little bit smaller scale managed by our research team. Um, but then we do get to test some of our R4, almost R5 stage canola products in field scale trials, which uh, we will see behind me here a little bit uh, in a smaller scale as a replicate of um, sort of what we would see on field that, uh, that our farmers would manage for us. Um, when, we, when we look at club roots and harvest max together, our goal as a breeding program is to have both of those products in the same hybrid. And we're very close to that on a number of our products already. There are a few that don't have both those traits, but that is one of our main goals is to have both Clubroot and Harvest Max offered in all Proteva products going forward. Um, right now within Clubroot traded material, we have CR1, which is the original um, Clubroot tolerance that was brought to market. CR2 we have in 45 CM39, which is a new source. And then from the Bravant lineup, we have CR3. And that um, is important to know because we are bringing different club root sources of tolerance to the marketplace, which will allow uh, our farmer customers to be able to rotate between different hybrids to keep club root at bay for a little bit longer. Um, we are only maybe four or five years away from actually realizing a CR6-7 in our commercial lineup. Um, we're still one or two years away from actually getting a CR4 or five to market. But once we do, there will be a kind of an explosion of new club root tolerance um, sources and uh, packages in the marketplace. So that is pretty exciting. Um, when we look at our sclerotinia program, um, we'll talk about that here in a little more detail, but we do have a lot of focus on enhanced sclerotinia uh, incidence reduction within our program. And then, of course, uh, black leg is also very important that our breed uh, and another thing our breeders do focus on a lot. Um, we're trying to bring as much adult resistance into our breeding program as possible. And then Harvest Max, of course, last but not least, uh, we spend a lot of time um, taking shatter notes in our trials and ensure we have a good understanding of what our products can do in, uh, in that uh, traded material. 